Won't you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me. Hello everyone, it's Sonia. Again, you are IKEA enthusiast. Welcome back to my channel. I recently visited the IKEA Shibuya Tokyo store and had the chance to attend the seminar by Mr. Anton, who's known for his DIY room renovations. <laughs> The seminar was packed with valuable insights. It was a free event, but it's just one of those things you don't want to miss at IKEA. In today's video, I'll be sharing what I bought during IKEA's delivery campaign, focusing on items that are especially worth getting delivered. I'll also show you how I set them up and did a little makeover at home. Right now, you're seeing this mirror that I'll be installing in the entrance hall. In addition to the entrance, I also redecorated the living room and children's room, so I'd like to share with you how it looks. So, stick around till the end and let's dive in. First up, I want to talk about this rug I bought. I'm currently removing the old one, which was made of a lighter material. The new one is from IKEA Stoens line, and it's more of a traditional heavy-duty carpet. I'm not exactly sure about the technical terms here, so bear with me. At IKEA UK, the price of this rug has been revised, and it seems that you can purchase it cheaply. It is wonderful. The bristles are short, so it's easy to clean. After laying it down, you might notice some marks, but they pretty much disappeared by the next day. The Stowens rug has a dense, short pile that adds a luxurious feel and stability to the room. I hear that unlike Japan, people in Europe wear their shoes on, so it's much more durable than the Japanese one. As I mentioned earlier, this rug has a short pile, so it is easy to incorporate into homes with pets or small children. It really transformed the space, adding depth and a touch of elegance. It's amazing how a rug can completely change the vibe of a room. Alright, moving on to this next item, which is just adorable. The moment I opened it, I was struck by its cuteness. It's a coat stand, something I've been contemplating buying for a while now. And with the delivery campaign happening, I decided to go for it. Surprisingly, despite its size, classic IKEA efficiency. It qualified for the small item delivery fee. Mm. The assembly was easier than I expected. Currently in my child's room, we've been using a Beckvam spice rack turned upside down as a makeshift coat rack. It's an IKEA hack. But as my child grows, their coats have started to take up more space. So, introducing this coat stand seemed like the right move. My 8-year-old can reach most of it, though the very top is still a bit out of reach. But, it's generally usable for them. Just like with the spice rack, the convenience of being able to hang something quickly is a huge plus. There's also a stool next to it. Another IKEA item, which is quite charming. This coat stand comes in three colors, and honestly, it's incredibly cute. Next up is the Skogsa bench. I already own the larger version, but I couldn't resist getting the smaller one as well. It's just too cute. The assembly was straightforward. All I had to do was attach the four legs. I'm quite fond of this bench, just a personal tidbit. It's incredibly cute and can even serve as a side table. Wouldn't you agree that one can never have too many of these? Said with a straight face. What do you think? I compared it with the larger version I have. The one next to it is the larger Skos STA bench. 
they offer two size options with the height being the same for both but differing in length. I use the larger one almost like a TV stand. It can also act as a decorative shelf or side table, adding a nice touch to any room. I place the new bench in the bedroom alongside a panel from Temu. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. I initially bought it for a hallway makeover, but since it came in a set of three and I had two leftovers, I decided to use them here. How does it look? Here's the scene of the hallway makeover. This was the situation before. Did you know you can use the IKEA app for remodeling? It seems like this feature was available in other countries before, I think. And now it's been introduced in Japan as well. The app can virtually remove furniture to help you visualize changes better, even erasing the shoe cabinet in the process. So I decided to remove the doors of the shoe cabinet. I took one of the brown doors and applied a white adhesive sheet to it. After removing the handles to apply the sheet, I'm considering getting new ones from IKEA. The result? A much cleaner, whiter appearance. I temporarily leaned the panel against the wall here. This panel isn't made of real wood, so I thought it might be suitable for areas set back a bit, giving a nice touch without being too prominent. Then, out of nowhere, as if by magic, I decided to install IKEA's Shadis pleated blinds. These blinds are incredibly easy to apply with the adhesive strip and can be cut to size with just a cutter. I adjusted the width to fit perfectly and applied it above. However, I noticed the horizontal stripes of the blinds clashed with the vertical stripes of the panel. The shoddies comes with double-sided tape for easy application, but if you're worried about it peeling off, adding a push pin or a tack might be a good idea. Some even use a stapler for extra security. Honestly, the convenience of these blinds over traditional roller blinds is a huge plus. However, the clash between the stripes led me to create a gap between them, which admittedly reduced the storage capacity quite a bit. Do you know about this? I thought it was kind of interesting, so I bought it. And guess what? It turns out like this. You just pop it open like this, and it's meant to cover up holes. Isn't that a brilliant idea? I tried attaching it just to see and sure enough, it does make things look cleaner. But, you know, it's kind of a hassle and it's not the right size for our shelf, so it's a tight fit. I mean, not that it's impossible to remove, but it's really tough to do so. So, I kind of gave up on installing it this time. I'm thinking maybe just sticking some tape would be better. All right. Now, it's time to install the mirror. The back of the mirror looks like this. It's designed so you can hang it horizontally as well. This time, I used the hook on the far left. I figured any hook would do, but given the situation at the back, I chose this one. I thought there might be some interference if the hook wasn't long enough. But if you're hanging it sideways, you need to be a bit careful. I was worried the hook might bump into your head. The great thing about this hook is, it's just a single push to install. Marking the hole positions with tape makes it easy to see and is handy. As for hanging it, I struggled a bit at first. Hanging it like this, I just couldn't figure out where the hook was. Where? The correct way to do it is to feel for the hole with your finger while you go to hang it on the hook. It's clear and you can hang it smoothly this way. Just like this, checking the hole position as you go to hang it. Definitely give it a try. 
If anyone else is planning to install a Lindbein, here's how it turned out. I placed it just like the simulation. The app's simulation is pretty accurate to the actual image. This is how it really is. And the simulation showed it like this. The shoe cabinet was removed, though. So, in the end, I decided to place the bench alongside the removed door. Adding a mirror really makes the room, well, the entryway, feel much more spacious. I really like this mirror because it's thin and has slim edges, giving it a sleek, modern vibe. I think it's easy to place even in a small entryway. I still have some unopened items, so I'd like to introduce them in my next video. I've also bought some new products. Are you planning to buy anything at IKEA soon? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, please let me know from which country are you coming to see us. Let's meet again in the next video soon. Thank you for watching till the end.